Hey guys, it's Cassie, the director of Team Be Brave, and I am so excited to be sharing a little bit with you guys this morning. This is going to be a little bit lengthier of a video than I normally do, but my goal here and my hope here is to encourage you, whether you've been with us for a month, six months, or two years. I want to start off by sharing a little bit of my story. I used to teach school, and after I had my first baby, I did not want to go back to school teaching. I had to go that first year anyways, and it was so hard on me that I, I literally cried like every day. Um, fast forward after that first year, we moved to another place. We actually moved back to America. My husband's military, and I knew that I did not want to teach again. So I began a home daycare, and it was a lot of fun, um, but it really was not my thing. I learned with the home daycare that I wanted to work for myself. I wanted to be around to do things with my children, and I knew what I wanted. I just didn't know which avenue would get me there. So fast forward again, we move again. I find I'm pregnant, and we have our second baby, and I became, we moved actually two more times, and I became a legit stay-at-home mom. And I loved it, guys. It was the dream that I didn't know I had, if that makes sense. I went to school, have my master's. I always thought I would be an educator, and... The dream I really wanted to live out was being home with my children. So I got used to this being home thing. Met a couple friends where we are now in Florida. I didn't really know anyone. And one of the girls we had met at the base before, they came here too. She sold Cincy. And on a whim one night after going to a Velada party, actually, I got on her website and I joined Cincy. The next morning I woke up in a complete panic attack. Like, what in the world did I just do? But then I had to tell myself, it's just $100. Like, it's just $100. And I know, like... That could be a huge amount to so many of us. And it was not easy being a stay-at-home mom and just on one income and me throwing out that $100. I get that. So my goal at that point was just to get um, just to get my $100 back. That's all I cared about. So I joined like November 17th of 2013. And in the next three weeks, I would share I'd post something on Facebook or I'd tell someone I think I opened a launch party on Facebook and I had like two orders it was like my mom and sister and I sold about a hundred dollars thank you to them you know very supportive of me and that was all I did and I'm like oh this is not gonna do it I've got to sell five hundred dollars to get my money back so I wasn't that worried about it um, so Thanksgiving time we went to Thanksgiving with a friend my husband was not here and, or maybe he was back then, I don't know. But a girl was there and she was talking about having a Cincy party. And so my instinct was, sure, let's do it. You know, I didn't really know her that well, but my director and I decided we would go do it together. I was a complete basket case. Like, I don't know what to do. But she, you know, my director said, do you want me to tell you what to do? I'm like, you know what? I'm going to YouTube. I'm going to research. I'm going to see. I took initiative. Like, I knew how she hosted her parties. That was awesome. She gave the information, but I wanted to learn. So I had to take that initiative. So I did. We did a few of her parties. I let her pretty much lead it, or I let it. And then when it came to question answer time, we played a game with question and answer. I just listened, and I didn't know how to answer them. But it was one of the best learning experiences for me. After that party, I realized how much fun this was. We booked another party. We had that party was like December 18th. So a month after I joined. It was like a $700 party. They booked another party with us a month later. We were going to do Cincy and Velada. My director was going to do Velada. So then it was the same group of people, but another party. I could not wait for that party. And from that moment, like January of 2014, my life changed. Like I'm in tears. Like it baffles me that something so small like Cincy could change my life the way it has. And it baffles me even more that all it took was that one home party. So my goal of this video is to share with you guys that although many of you that have been around long, a long time with me or you've heard my story, you know that I hit director fairly quickly and it seems like it's always been so easy for Cassie. And I don't want you guys to think that because although I'm a director and I'm leading the team and I'm on here encouraging you guys and sharing things, I work. I have to work very, very hard every single day if I want to see results. In a book we're reading in our Brave Academy right now, it shares if you 
treat this business like a business, you're going to be paid. Well, it gets a business. If you treat this business like it's a hobby, if you treat Cincy like a hobby, you're going to get paid like a hobby. So if that's your goal is just to get a little bit of money, you're, to, you're on the right track. If your goal is to actually bring in legit income and earn vacations and pay off debt or whatever, then you have to know what you need to do to get there. So my hope with this video is to share with you guys, I did not start and take off running really fast. Cassie started, got a million and 12 no's. Everyone ignored me. Nobody wanted to buy Cincy. No one attended my Facebook launch party, by the way. I did not hit shooting star. My mom and sister were the only two people who ordered from me because they were just supporting me. But I had a lot of no's. So if you're just starting out or you know you're beginning or it was slow or it's slow for you right now, understand that everyone started at the beginning. Everyone started with simply pushing that join button and paying $99. So guys, be brave. I want you to hear my heart. If you are struggling, you've got to do something different. If you need help, reach out to your upline, to me, to your sponsor, your, to me, whatever. Reach out. We are here to help you. But I want you to know that you have to do it. We can't do it for you. I'm telling you, I have learned that in the past two years. I cannot want it more for someone than they want it for themselves. So if you have never, ever, 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 ever done a home party, that is going to be my encouragement to share with, or my goal for you, my challenge to you. Book a home party. Oh, I don't have a lot of people that are going to show up at my lunch party. I hear that all the time. So do it anyways. And I'll tell you why. The biggest party I did was in January of 2014 when 17 people came. That 17-person party barely made $250. But I can go into a home where three or four people show up, and I walk out with over $500 of orders. I do not think that size matters a huge abundance. I think that if someone is going to host a party or thinks about it, they're like, I don't really know anyone, I always encourage them, even if you know one or two people, let's do it. Like, you just never know. They could bring a guest. You never know if they love Cincy or they've never had Cincy. You have to get out of your comfort zone. What was it that was said at World Tour? Those of you that were there, I may say it wrong. Let me think. You've got to get comfortable being uncomfortable. So the saying is you need to go for the no. Ten no's gets you a yes. And I know it's very, 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 I was talking with a team member this morning about it can be very disheartening when in the very beginning all you're getting is a million and twelve no's. Don't let that hold you back, guys. Don't let it hold you back. Keep pushing. Find that one person who will support you in your business and in your endeavors and get them to host a party for you. Get them to host a home party. Experience the home party. Even if you do one party, home party a month or one every couple months, knowing those home parties are there, you know what they're going to do? It's going to expand your business. You're going to meet new people. You're going to get new customers, and your PRV is going to skyrocket more than you've ever seen it skyrocket. You're not going to struggle getting 150 one month ever, out of every three months. Get comfortable being uncomfortable. So my heart with this, I'm going to end this at the 10-minute mark, is that you hear me that Cassie did not jump into Cincy and hit director with doing nothing. I busted my tail. I got a ton of no's. My first month was, I don't know, even know why I joined Cincy. And I thought maybe this was a huge mistake. But all it took was that one party, guys, that one party to encourage me to get me to keep going and just to work my business. So I hope this encourages someone. I just don't want people, I really get sad when people feel like they can't do it or they get a million no's. I just want to know, who are you asking? Have you made your list of 100? I didn't. When I first started, I didn't make a list of 100. Honestly, I probably didn't do it until I hit director. I'll be honest. But now it's something I faithfully do. And it's the people that you would not even expect to say yes that are going to say yes. But I, if I were you, I would search for people that will do parties for you. Parties are where it's at. It is. So you guys have a good day, and I hope this helps someone.